Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to use the text editor through terminal or how you can run the code you wrote in um, text editor through terminal. Uh, so first uh, you needed the text editor for myself, I got a gedit. You can find this um, free on the website, gedit, uh, you can google it. And second you need is terminal. Um, if you have a Mac, you can easily go to your applications and to your utilities and there you'll find terminal or the easier way is to go to your spotlight and look for terminal it will show up right there and it will open up okay uh, so first of all you need to make a directory on the system to be able to run the code so when you open the terminal you can type pwd it will show you the path um, it's in users, Rackets, Rasta, iMac, and so let's make a directory. Um, so the command will be mkdir um, ruby test. Okay. Uh, so, you know, to check if it has been, um, the file has been created or not, we can type ls hyphen L to see okay so the Ruby test is right here 1128 so this is the file that we created right now so to get inside this folder of the we need to type CD Ruby test okay so we are inside Ruby test so let's go and let's do simple programming so this is the text editor let's do puts let's write puts hello world okay puts hello again and let's save this file save as we go to broadcast raster ruby test so you need to save it on ruby test and the very important thing is when you when you save the file it has to be saved followed by dot rb so let's do I'm sorry, not here. The file name should be test dot r test one dot rb. Let's do that. It doesn't matter what your file name is, but it should be followed by dot rb. This is very important to run the file by uh, the terminal. Okay, so let's save it and save. Okay. So our file name is test1.rb so we can go here and to order to run that code we need to type ruby and our file name test1.rb okay so here you go it says hello world and hello again so this is the code we wrote here at text editor so if you have guys have any question or comment let me know you know if I can help you out and I'll be posting some more uh, videos tutorial about the Ruby and thank you